so um it is 9 15 at night and i wanted to do my nails i don't know why i really don't know why but i bought a whole bunch of stuff i have these Ooh. i got the a press system just because i've seen it on tiktok a lot so i have the you know all the three things that you need dehydrator primer and extend gel and i have never done gel eggs on myself so we will see how this works obviously the lighting is horrendous but i can't do anything about that and i will have a second i have a second view whoa hello oh that's how you do it now that i blocked light in the back you can see me did i turn that light off no i need to see i need all i can get but i have a second angle down here so you can see my things I literally have everything. I have a nail box. I used to have like a really big nail bag, but now I have this nail box with a whole bunch of stuff in it. Like for, I used to do acrylics on myself in high school and college. They were not the best sets looking back, but you know what? I tried. So anyway, I have like a whole bunch of stuff and I have my gel, my, this is my, um, what's it called? My lamp, and my primer, and I even got a drill. And I also bought, see, the thing is, is I see too many things on TikTok and I'm just like, I can do this. But also, I don't know why I'm just the kind of person that's like, oh yeah, you know, it's just nine at night. It'll probably take me like three hours. I'll finish it by midnight. That's the plan. The plan is to finish by midnight. The prep takes the longest amount of time. And so I need to get started on that. And the thing that I have to do first is I have to get rid of these nails. This is on purpose, by the way. I didn't like just, it didn't just come off and it looks like this. I did this on purpose. I know it looks very strange. And if, honestly, if you could see what my setup looks like right now, I don't have light. I just put this light on top right here. It looks kind of cool. <laughs> Let's get started because I'm going to be here for a while. I need cotton balls. I need cotton balls. Got to get started. Oh, acetone to remove the stuff. And then we can do the nail prep and all of the cuticle thingies because I even have cuticle remover. I tell you, man, I, <laughs> if I'm going to have one thing, I'm going to have everything. <laughs> it's going to be a second. Off. Ah, okay. One done. Also, take note. Do you see this? This nail is so broken. Do I, should I cut it off or should I leave it? I don't know. the other nail prep i also moved the light over here so i think it should be a little bit easier to see now i gotta do the prep they look a little um i need a little bit of help <laughs> the reason i said three hours to do my nails is because that's about how long it took me to do acrylics but gel is supposed to be easier so it shouldn't take me that long right i hope not so to do the prep which what do we start with normally man i forgot i think we do the cuticle thing yeah and then i do the cuticle pusher and i do that too but i think i start with the cuticle oil cuticle cuticle mover because i've seen it somewhere <laughs> you put it everywhere let's put it everywhere i barely know what i'm doing but it looks like i'm doing something so i guess that counts for something <laughs> Obviously, I'm trying to speed up the process of filming, so that's why there's a lot of fast forward moments. Because I honestly didn't plan to film this video right now. So, and also, if you wanted my hair, I have a hair mask in. You can't really tell, but yep, I decided now is the time to film with a hair mask in at 9 p.m. at night. Doing my nails, Gel X for the first time. Yep. <laughs> the cuticles. Okay, so I have finished one hand. Looks pretty good. I still need to do some filing and buffing and, you know, with this thing. Okay, so I just got absorbed. There we go. Buffed and shaped and cuticle cut and all of the above so anyway got to do this hand so what before after can we see a difference i don't really know but we're gonna keep going and i'm gonna do this hand and then we'll come back it is now 9 45 it took me 30 minutes to do one hand 
it's okay. That's the longest part. I just have to keep going. And after the nail prep, most of the stuff will be quick. It's fine. I'm not running out of time. It's fine. It's fine. Anyway, I'm gonna do the right hand. It's gonna probably take me longer because I am right-handed, so. Let's see how long it takes me. Ooh, my back hurts already. It is 10.01, so it took me like, what, 16 minutes? You're done. My question now, so I know I'm supposed to put dehydrator, but do I wash my hands before I do that? Or should I pick the nails before I do that? I think I'm supposed to pick the nails. I'm doing ASMR. Why shut up? I think I'm gonna do my coffin and stiletto. Since it's been a while, I think I'm gonna do the shorter stiletto and then just round the top so it's not as pointy. Okay. The size they say is very important, so I think I'm gonna be here for a minute. And then this is my other question. So if I do it like this, shit, come on. You can kind of like, do I have to push it down to make it fit, or should it just? I am going to prep them. Yes. That's what I've learned. That's what I said. So what I read is you take or read. What? I don't do. I don't do that. I do read. I do read, but not like that. I take this and I um, file the inside a little bit like this. This is supposed to. What I heard is heard. What I saw is they said that this makes it um, makes it um, more ad adherable to the natural now. All right, let me just run through this and I'm gonna get, you know, to the fun part where we actually like glue things on and, you know, it's interesting and I get to do design instead of the groundwork, but I guess you can't get anywhere without groundwork. This is good for you, eh? All right, done with that. Now, now I guess we do the start. Do I have to dust them off? I really just don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I used to do like crazy designs when I was doing acrylics on myself, especially in high school. I had 3D charms. I was really into 3D charms. I put bows, rhinestones, you know, like little cakes and cupcakes, butterflies, you know, whatever I could get my hands on, it was on my fingers. We start with this, the dehydrator, that dries, and then you do the primer. And then you do a thin coat of this, of the gel extend, and then you cure that for 60, 30 seconds, and then you put the nails on. Let's begin the magic. Um, I'm very scared to spend all this amount of time in and, not them, and have them not look good, but you know, you're living and learn, and I've done worse. Imagine spending six hours on your nails just for them to fall off within the next two days. <laughs> I'm put that on. Oh, the brush is so short, that's unexpected. I asked my friend, because she's really into nails too right now. I was like, is it dehydrated necessary? Like, can't you just use rubbing alcohol? And she was like, no, it's different. And I was like, why? And she couldn't explain why. So, riddle me that. And there we are, primed, prepped, and ready for the first layer of gel. I'm so excited. I'm starting with my right hand. I'm starting with my right hand. I'm starting with my right hand. <sighs> Anybody else gotta remind himself which hand you're actually starting with? My hand is shaking. Thin layer, and then I put it in this guy. So, 30 seconds. I'm so excited. And now we start the hard process of putting on the nails. This is what I'm fucking scared about. I actually don't think I need this. Put that over there. Okay. You can do this. Okay. Done. Well, the base is done. I have a little bit of flooding. On some of them, you know, my first time, can't expect to be perfect, but they feel pretty good. I just watched a video again. She's used kind of like this kind of bit to do the cuticle a little bit, and that's gonna what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use that to just help clean it up a little bit. Oh, why is this here? This one looks crazy. Why does it look like that? So as you can tell, I finished 
filing and I shape them a little bit so they're not as pointy and I feel like I'm not gonna hurt myself as much. I probably still could. I ran to the bathroom and get some rubbing alcohol because I was told by a lady on TikTok that this is what you gotta do and you just gotta to get rid of the dust. Ah! Ooh! Ooh, that burns! Okay, yeah, um, I nicked myself a little bit. Man, maybe I, I nicked myself a little bit more than that though. 11.33, and now we can get started on the part that I've been looking forward to this whole time, which is the polish, and specifically this polish that I seen on Amazon. That's the freaking color changing and stuff. But I also have chrome powder, and I think I wanna do chrome powder on my pinkies. Cause that could be cool, you know? But I'm gonna do the rest of my nails first to see how I like this stuff and then decide if I wanna do the chrome or just do it all this. What would you even call this? Cat eye, I think that's what it's called. This cat eye stuff. So excited. Are you kidding me? And there's even one on this side. I don't know what, I don't know how, I don't know how it works. <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna have to pick a color first. One, two, three. Four, five. There's five colors plus the sparkly bit part. We use this one, the Gaoi. I know I'm saying that horribly. Oh yeah, that's real jelly-like. That's pretty. Okay, so that's what it, the first layer looks like. I think I might do two coats because like, um, that doesn't look like anything, but that's the first layer and then I'm gonna cure it for 60 seconds. Woo! So I ended up doing three layers of the base polish and I'm still curing it right now and the time is 1154 <laughs> now I'm not gonna make my timeline but that's okay because you know all I have left is to do the polish and then you know to do the other polish and then to do the magnet and then to do the top coat but you know we're almost done oh ooh, 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 ooh. you can't tell me these don't look good you can't tell me these don't look good Come here. Now time to do the, where did it go? I'm gonna do this one, the sparkly bit, and then the magnet. I'm so excited to do this. Let's go, we're almost done. I don't know how much I'm supposed to put on. I feel like I shouldn't put on that much. Ooh, I love sparklies. Okay, so I will look like, and then I'm supposed to take the magnet and something's supposed to happen. Okay, so let's all watch closely. <laughs> Something happened, but I can't really see. Let me use the other side. <gasps> are we, are you, do you, <gasps> do you see this? Oh my God. I am speechless right now. This is so fucking pretty. I wasn't recording my phone that whole time, but look how they look. Looks so good. Okay, let me just finish all of them and then I'll come back. <sighs> so. 12.56 now, and I'm done. Obviously, I didn't make my deadline. But the nails! Oh my word. Oh my word. I am thoroughly pleased with what I've done. They look amazing. I really, I really did that. You know, this is for a first, for a first time of Gel X, these look damn good. Yeah, there's some imperfection if you look closely, so don't. I'm so tired now. My hair mask is mostly soaked in now, too. Okay. Good night. I think I want to do a clip tomorrow to do a better, um... Oh, to do a better... Wow. I'm tired. To do a better look at the nails, I will put in a clip from tomorrow. And honestly, I think I should end it now. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I am so pleased with how these turned out. Didn't expect it to go this well. Didn't think it would turn out, you know, good at all. But maybe I should have some more faith in myself. Yeah! But anyway, that is all I have for today. Like, comment, share, subscribe, or do whatever you want. It does help me out, though. Anyway, I am done. I'm tired, and I will... See you guys in the next one. I did not expect to do this video. I did not expect to be up till one. I don't even want to go. I still have to clean up. No. So anyway, yeah. I will see you guys in the next one. I'm tired. Goodbye.